Hi again, this is Emma and this is Dr. Susan Richards. I'm sure by now you may have seen some of the testimonies and the interviews that we've done on our YouTube channel. Today I heard an amazing story about a man who had um, lymphoma and that's a kind of cancer. Can you tell us a little bit about his condition and what happened? Yes, he was a man who had been diagnosed with lymphoma, which is indeed a cancer. He had a kind called non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And these, um, you know, are very, technically they're very serious conditions like any cancer. It, you know, requires a um, significant amount of, of treatment and not everybody heals. A lot of people who get um, cancer just don't heal. We never are able to get them in remission through our medical treatments. So he was a, a very nice man and um, you know, a deep believer in the Lord and really didn't want to have the cancer as an issue. So he came to me for prayer and, um, and again as a medical doctor and as an ordained minister I know a lot about cancer from the medical side but I also know how to pray for it. So I prayed for him and he had a wonderful outcome. He went back to his doctor it completely disappeared. That's what I call very happy, oh, yeah. <laughs> happy outcome. I've seen this with lots of different cancers, by the way. Um, common cancers, rare cancers, um, leukemias, lymphomas, carcinomas, sarcomas. These are different types of big categories of cancer, and God can heal everything. So how long did he have the lymphoma before he uh, got to know about you? Um, he had had it for, for some time because, you know, he was under treatment. And um, you know, he just wanted to not have it. <laughs> oh yeah, I can totally understand why. Yeah. Um, also, you mentioned that, uh, about a man, Bruce, and he had like diabetes, and he had, yes. you know, what was his condition, and how what happened with him? Yes, he was diabetic. He was under very poor control with his blood sugar level. He was way up there in the three to four hundreds. wasn't as good as he should have been on his diet, but he was also under a lot of stress. So kind of the combination of the two, he was not doing well. As his diabetes w became worse and worse, um, he started having visual changes where he had, um, you know, blurring of his vision, vision losing his sightedness. Um, he started having neuropathy in his feet, so he's getting neurological changes in, in the nerves of his feet. Um, he, he was you know, having um, changes in, in his energy level, he was just, he said, I can see the diabetes is getting worse because I don't feel as good. He was very concerned. Um, so I, I prayed for him, and as I was praying for him, he had a tremendous blessing from God because um, he said, wow, as you're praying for me, my vision is clearing up. And then he says my, um, you know, kind of pins and needles, numbness and tingling, all the stuff on my feet. He said, my feet are getting better. And then he checked his blood sugar level, and the blood sugar level was starting to, to drop very, you know, significantly. So it was wonderful what the Lord did for him, because the Lord put him back into a, you know, healthy place with the diabetes, which I'm very happy to see with people who are diabetics, because they can have end up in kidney failure, you know, blindness, um, heart problems. It's, you can lose, you know, parts of your leg um, if if the tissue breaks down. You really want to get on top of diabetes. So anyway, no, yeah. he was a he was a great case. Wow. Have yeah. you contacted him at all, or has he contacted you since? Oh yeah, periodically. Um, you know, I'll be we'll be in touch, and he he's done very well. Yeah, that's great. Well, thank you for being with us, and yeah. please stay tuned for the next interview, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like our video. Thanks. God bless. God bless you all.